David Raya Arsenal Medical is on going down at London Conley and here we come to bring you the latest news and information and the details of the deal of David Raya to Arsenal. There is one of the Arsenal fans that was onto this channel and put up a question on how this deal is really going to obviously be coming in through Rokani. I've heard that something is going is going to come to Arsenal on loan. That is David Sozi asking about the deal of David Raya. And there is someone I'm really looking at, Casey Nicholas. Rokani, I see from different sources that Raya has come on loan deal. Is it true? Now, yesterday night when I was doing that video of David Raya undergoing his medical today at London Conley, I really came out and confirmed to you that there is a story that David Olsen has gone ahead to break that includes a three million pound loan fee to be paid for Arsenal and obviously David Raya to have an option to buy for 27 million pounds coming in from Arsenal. So as it stands, as it stands, I have what we call concrete information <clears throat> about David Raya and that's why you shouldn't go anywhere. And secondly, we're going to discuss about Lavia, Chelsea trying to hijack the deal of Lavia and it looks like they are going off Moise Quesido and Max Arons has finally joined a certain team. Max Arons was one of the right backs that played at Norwich and Arsenal was so much linked to the player but they never went ahead to give this deal green light. Smash like button close to 400 times. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel <coughs> so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Now, also <coughs> subscribe because we want to hit 17,000 subscribers by the end of this month. And let's see how this is going to really unveil out. Now, let's start it off with a story coming in from Simon Collins, Arsenal correspondent for the Evening Standard. Arsenal hope to have David Raya available for the Premier League opener versus Nottingham Forest as goalkeeper and that goes medical <coughs> on Thursday today. Meaning that David Raya is undergoing his medical down at Alan County right now. Arsenal are working tooth and nail to it that the deal is done and dusted. Sorry, the medical is done and dusted today such that they register him <coughs> before Friday noon. Remember, if they exit Friday morning, no, that is tomorrow, when we're going to register him or submit the required papers, they are not going to obviously see him registered as a player of Arsenal. So he's undergoing his medical today <coughs> and they are working tooth and nail see to it that this day really comes to pass and the player is registered and everything is going to be done and dusted very well at London County. So the medical is on. Then Simon Jedin has come and retold us that David Ryers move to Arsenal should be finalized in time for Saturday. <clears throat> My understanding is that while it's an initial loan as per Athletic, the expression is absolutely that it will become permanent. 30 million pounds package. Deal structure is mainly due to payment timings. That is it. Now, that is something that Simon J. Dean has gone ahead and obviously told us is he works for the Telegraph. That is Simon J. Dean. And he's obviously telling us the latest news and information as far as this deal of David Dreyer to Arsenal is concerned. Then the most important bit of this all, I've found it from Kaya Kanak, Arsenal correspondent for the Football London. He said, understand David Dreyer will extend his contract at Brentford before completing £3 million loan move to Arsenal. Arsenal will then have an option, to, will have the option to buy for £27 million, no obligation, just like with Odegaard 2.5 years ago, Arsenal came to try before they buy, before they buy with, before, keen to try before they buy, they buy with Raya. More on. Now, the most important bit about this story is, David Raya to Arsenal is going to be a loan deal with an option to buy that is not mandatory. And before all of this, David Raya had to first obviously extend his contract at Brentford for one more year, such that if at all Arsenal don't buy the player, they can even sell him next summer because he'll be left with one year on his contract. Now, I came up with a narrative yesterday night and most of you never understood me. When David Austin told us that the deal is a loan with an option to buy, I was so much inquisitive about 
the contract of David Raya. How can it be a loan with an option to buy yet David Raya's contract is running out in the summer of 2024 <coughs> and that would sum up the expiry, expiry, expiration of the contract of David Raya at Brentford. So this is making more sense to me that now an option is on and before he leaves Brentford he's going to obviously put up an extension of a father one more year that really makes sense to me and I think my answer has been really sorry my question has been really given the right answer <coughs> that it really does have but for Mikel Ateta this is really a very huge move in the right direction that means competition is set the levels of competition are set between David Raya and Aaron Ramsdale because he wants to see who is the better version of a goalkeeper that give that can give Arsenal more control to the game. That is it. And I understand exactly what Ateta is all about. That's why they've gone ahead to agree a deal of a loan fee of three million pounds with an option to buy. Because if David Raya doesn't push into the starting level of Arsenal, then there will be no reason of him to obviously stay at Arsenal. That's why the buy option is not mandatory. So, that means Ateta <coughs> is yet to obviously choose his first choice goalkeeper. And as I told you that no team pays £30 million for a first choice goalkeeper, that means Arsenal might use David Raya as a second choice goalkeeper and then maybe let him go to got let him go back to Brentford and maybe Brentford really do the needful and uh, I've seen Arsenal fans jubilating that they've tried to obviously get this deal over the line before the goalkeeper of Real Madrid got an injury and trust me if at all as the Balaga got an injury before this deal came to pass of David Raya to Arsenal I think they would have gone in for this goalkeeper known as David Raya at Real Madrid so that is it he's undergoing his medical a deal is a loan with no option to buy but with an option to buy that is not mandatory that is it being confirmed by credible source has this morning i know most of you were confused but the lie that has been thrown on this deal you now know exactly what it's all about now david austin <coughs> Yesterday came out and really told us the following about David, R sorry, uh, Romeo Lavia. Southampton have tonight received an offer for Chelsea for Lavia. Chelsea proposal, 48 million pounds in add-ons. Closest anyone has come to Saints, 50 million valuation to date. 19-year-old subject to multiple rejects, bids from Liverpool. Dialogue continues. And here we come again. Fabricio Romano says Chelsea have submitted formal bid to Southampton for a Milavia 48 million pounds fee. Negotiations ongoing as Liverpool's last proposal was worth 45 million pounds and was rejected. This is what we call a hijack. And Chelsea, after knowing that Brighton aren't going to get moved to sell Mois Quesido for less than 100 million pounds, they've decided to hijack the deal of Romeo Lavia. Now, Looks like Pochettino is losing the connections he has with Southampton to <clears throat> really orchestrate, the, orchestrate this deal and give this deal life. And I believe... <laughs> sure about that. I believe that unless otherwise... Aaron, sorry, unless otherwise Liverpool meet the £50 million pound <clears throat> valuation all asking price by Southampton the player might end up playing for the player might end up playing for Chelsea because Lavia was okay to go to Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool and Chelsea. Now, Chelsea <coughs> is into the mix needing a CDM and they're not willing to go to the heights of Brighton. But one might believe that it's really a move to scare off bright on that they might miss out onto the 80 million pounds bid that chelsea put up last time it was rejected and for brighton they know that moise quesido is not going to drop off his levels and the moment they keep him for one more season <coughs> he's going to be playing there for europa league 
put up the required performances and he might even go for north of 120 million pounds for chelsea if they miss out on moise Kesido this time round i don't think there is a chance for them to get moise Kesido anytime next summer because teams like man united arsenal will go in for this player and I think they are better placed to finish in the top four positions of the league. Though the new format of the Premier League of the Champions League is starting next season and Chelsea might not miss out, even though they don't really qualify for the Champions League, I'll finish top four. Moise Casido will be so much pissed at Chelsea because he gave them green light and they could really negotiate a deal so either the player really signs for <coughs> that side of Chelsea and he might not be okay with them next time and if at all teams like man city Manchester united coming through next summer they might get in moise quesito and for arsenal fans they'll be excited because they might be able to obviously lodge a bid of 100 million pounds to get in moise quesito in the general transfer window as they did last summer on two different players that is um that is uh <coughs> mokalo modric and um and uh Mokalo Modric, 86 million pounds, and Keisido, it was close to 80 million pounds that a bid was rejected by Brighton. So let's wait and see how that really pans out. But it looks like all this leaves Moise Keisido in an ocean of questions, and Chelsea are trying to obviously continue negotiating with the team of Brighton as they obviously try to search for an option. Now, Max Arons, one of the most players that was talked about when Norwich was still into the league before they got relegated that was linked to Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool and very many others has finally gone ahead to play for Bournemouth and it's a here we go Fabrizio Roman has gone ahead to obviously confirm to us that Max Arons to Bournemouth here we go <coughs> Leeds deal has been hijacked with last minute 7 million pounds plus add-ons on on bid now accepted by Norwich, Bournemouth left Mahel deal to focus on Aaron's hijack. Now completed, English fullback already on his way to medical tests. Now, when you look at Bournemouth, it's one of those teams that survived relegation last summer in the Prem. That is it. Now, he comes in here, Max Arons, to play as the right back for the team. This guy was really missed in the league. He's one of the best flying right backs I've seen in the league. And thank God he's back. So it's that he goes in the mix. Now, there was there was a very huge communication that Leeds were trying to obviously take this deal. But Bournemouth in the Premier League came in with all the required power and effort and obviously hijacked it. And there you go, he's now a player of Bournemouth and soon going to be really unveiled. Now, your thoughts on to David Raya, Arsenal Medical ongoing. Welcome in the comment section below. Lavia, Chelsea coming in through to obviously hijack the transfer. And lastly, Max Arons to Bournemouth is a here we go. So your thoughts on to those three stories are welcome in the comment section below. Rock and David remains my name. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. My most viewers and subscribers, Barak Laufiku. I'm out.